Hi guys, welcome back to another collection video. Today I thought I would do something a little different. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 DVDs that have not been released here in the UK on Blu-ray. <laughs> So yeah guys, um, just a little video, something different for a change, I thought I would talk about um, these uh, this top 10 uh, you know, DVDs that have never been uh, released in Blu-ray. Now, a wee backstory here, um, I've been collecting movies for a long long time, ever since I was a kid I collected hundreds of videos, I then got rid of them and changed them into DVDs, I had a whole bunch of DVDs, I loads, I've still got loads of DVDs. And then got rid of most of them through time and got the Blu-rays as you see behind me now. Now, when I collected DVDs and, uh, you know, one thing, like, Blu-rays have been out now for, like, since 2006, 7 roughly. I think the earliest one was maybe 2006, so I'd say, like, maybe 11 years. So, when Blu-rays came in, it wasn't until maybe a couple of years when Blu-rays were starting coming in, when I started to collect them, so my first Blu-ray was in like 2008, I got it Christmas 2008, I got it with my PlayStation 3 and it was The Dark Knight. Now, it was, that's my first and then I started collecting from then on. So we're now, what, like literally like in almost nine years um, in my collection and this is it basically behind me right here. Um, a majority I have like sort of sold and stuff like that but that's a very slim majority um, so when I was started collecting the Blu-rays um, one thing I thought I would do was okay I'm not going to start collecting like I did with the videos you, know, you got rid of all your videos and you got everything you had in video on DVD maybe anything extra now one thing I, 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 I'm not going to do with the DVDs I've said that I'm not going to get it's a near impossible to get it's just a. I mean, you could do it, but I just don't have the money and all that to do. Get everything that I've already bought and get it in Blu-ray again, and then you know, ten years down the line, some other format thing's going to be in. I know the four K Blu-rays in, which is that's just a rip off. I mean, that's um, that's ridiculous paying the prices they're asking for. Considering, I mean, majority of them are already been in four K before four K get released. What's that about, you know? But I wouldn't bother with that kind of kind of I'm just talking about like there was a big difference between Blu-ray and DVD that I noticed, um, picture-wise, and obviously a massive difference between uh, VHS and uh, DVD. So that's why everybody got rid of their videos. So one thing um, I did say to myself is I'm not going to get everything. I'm going to get some new ones that I never owned on Blu-ray, and maybe like things like Pulp Fiction, Goodfellas, and stuff like that. You'll always pick them up on, you know, Blu-ray and stuff like that, because they're your, they're your favourite, and then get rid of the DVDs or whatnot. Now, um, maybe I've got, I mean, in the collection, there's some things I have owned before, um, of course, but there's some new things, like the Woody Allen box sets I've never had, um, you know, I've never owned uh, all the Marvel movies, I've never, uh, you know, uh, and there's some movies, obviously, <clears throat> like um, The Godfather, I've never owned The Godfathers, and some TV show box sets that I've never owned before, and some new things that come in. So, like, maybe, like, some majority of some things that I do get, um, that I've had from, from video, or, or DVD, sorry, I'll get, you know, oh, well, I've had it in DVD before, I'm going to get it changed into, uh, into Blu-ray, um, because it's just a better, a better edition. One example was in 2014, the, the Burbs got released in Arrow, and they had oh, loads of special features. I got the DVD when it got released in 2004. It said the, the Burbs uncut, and, you know, all you had was a trailer, and it wasn't uncut. When you go to the, uh, you know, the Arrow Blu-ray, you had so much. I mean, that was one of the best releases I ever thought, I never thought I'd ever seen, because the Burbs is one of my, like, childhood favourites. Um, but enough of that, I'm not going to go into all that. So what I basically thought, is, I thought about this uh, a couple of months ago, I'm going to do a video, I, I, I just kept, I had other things in, in mind I had to do. Um, I was going to give you a list of my top 10 DVDs that still 
to be released here in the UK. Now I'm only focusing here in the UK. I look up in Blu-ray.com and it gives me like the list of so many months of what's coming out and what's getting released. So um, a lot of collectors usually will probably do the same thing. Now I know that the states have, I mean a majority of probably I'm holding, I'm going to show you guys would be already be released in the states so I'm not caring too much about where it's been released, it's only focusing here in the UK. I mean we're in 2017 and we still don't have these movies released here in the UK and Blu-ray. So um, I'm starting to stop rambling, I'm just going to get straight into it guys um, because I could be here all night. Um, so right off I'm going to give you my top 10 basically, um, top 10 to number 1. And at number 10 uh, is, uh, actually, uh, I'll be honest with you, it's a, <laughs> it's one of my childhood favourites, it's a Joe Dante film, and it's The Explorers. Now, it's not been released here in the UK, but a lot of his films are getting released slowly here in the UK. Um, I just spoke about The Barbs, that got released in um, 2014. We got, I think it was last year, I think we've seen, um, Matinee. That got released um, by, by Arrow. Uh, got Gremlins, of course, and Gremlins Two got released as well last year. So slowly but surely, um, his films are starting to pop up. We still haven't seen uh, another one of his films, um, The Howling and Small Soldiers and stuff like that. We still haven't seen that. And this is another one that's long forgotten about. Um, and this is in between. I think it was between uh, Gremlins and Inner Space. Now Inner Space would have been on my list. But Inner Space just recently got released um, on Blu-ray on a, a, a Zavi exclusive or something like that, on a steelbook. So then, you know, it's here in the UK. So, But yeah, this is uh, Explorers. If you haven't seen it, it's basically about these kids. Uh, it stars obviously Ethan Hawke um, and uh, River Phoenix. Can't remember who the third kid uh, is in it, but um, they're basically are sort of nerds and stuff like that and they, they make this shit. And I mean, it is a, a childish, it's like, it's, if you ever see, watch Joe Dante movies, you know what he's like. Um, and they make, they build a ship and they go away into space. Um, they can actually fly it and they go into space and stuff like that. And it's basically called, it's just a kid's film called Explorers. I would like to get this released in Blu-ray, but who knows. So that's it, number 10. Number 9 is a film that I love Tom Hanks. Now, it's Tom Hanks film, obviously. But um, I liked this film when it came out and I think it just missed the, the Blu -ray, the transfer from Blu-ray when Blu-rays were just coming in and it's a shame because uh, I still haven't seen a release for it here in the UK and uh, I've re I really enjoy this film to the day, it still lives, to me it still lives up, a lot of people had mixed feelings about it but I still like it and that is The Terminal, uh, a forgotten film um, and it's, it, compared to what Tom Hanks is doing now I mean, I know this, you know, it's a hit and miss with him now, but this was back when Tom Hanks was still doing good movies. I mean, this is 2005. I mean, this was 12 years ago. So, like, I went to pictures to see this, and I think this was one of the, no, it wasn't one of the last Tom Hanks movies I went to pictures to see, but it was one of the last good ones. Um, and I'll never forget, I saw it in a cinema in Glasgow that's it's shut down now. But um, I really enjoyed this film, and... It needs to get a Blu-ray release. I'm surprised this hasn't got a Blu-ray release here in the UK. So, I mean, what's up with that? But uh, the terminal, yeah, guys, it's at number nine. Number eight. Uh, <laughs> it was a hard one to pick number eight because I was kind of torn between something else. Um, I mean, I could go show you my collection and go through every single one that's not been released in, in Blu-ray here in the UK, but I'm not going to do that because it'll just take forever. But... Um, it was between this and something else, and um, I knew this better off in my childhood than I did the other films, so um, that's why I'm going. I'm, I'm picking this one, and it is Harry and the Hendersons, uh, a great eighties movie. A uh, majority of these, <laughs> this collection is like eighties movies, um, of course, and it's a film I grew up with. Uh, I grew up loving, and I recently watched it with my girlfriend, um, probably a couple of months back. Uh, maybe March or something like that, and it still lives up. Um, it's not an Oscar winner or anything like that, but uh, you know, you, you, you get the just it and you, you enjoy it, you know. Um, still, I don't know, I've, I've still got like a soft spot in my heart, I guess, for it, and uh, yeah, where the heck's that in Blurry? In the UK, guys. 
Yeah, you know what I mean? So, uh, that's it, number eight. Number seven is one of my favourite Steve Martin films along with The Jerk. Now, The Jerk is in Blu-ray. A lot of Steve Martin's, uh, in the UK recently, a lot of Steve Martin's Blu-rays have been appearing. Uh, we've recently seen Roxanne. I've recently seen, uh, um, what else have I seen? Uh, Sergeant Bilko was released this week, actually. On, and what else did I see? Uh, or Bullfinger was released I think, I think last year and um, Dead Men Don't Wear Lead or, or something like that I think that was released I'm sorry my name's wandering here guys um, forgive me I'm, I'm a bit tired I think that's one of the ones that got released I could be wrong but um, and this one is The Man with Two Brains now it is I mean, it even says on it Steve Martin's funniest movie and I've got to say it is. I think it is. I love The Jerk. I love Roxanne. I love all the other ones. Bullfinger and, um, you know. But, you know, you can't beat Man With Two Brains. It's just turn your brain off. Have a laugh. And sit down. I mean, you don't make comedies like this. It's like The Naked Gun. They don't make comedies like that. They don't make, you know, Naked Gun Airplay. I mean, the comedies today sucks. I mean, I don't know what... Who's directing the com comedies a day? I, they're absolutely push, you promise me. But, um, The Man with Two Brains, that's at number seven. So, get that out on Blu ray. Another one here, I'm surprised this has not been released with all these. Uh, I just got my superhero movies all sorted out. So, there's my superhero movies on Blu ray. Um, we've got Batman the movie, uh, we've got Superman movies, the original Superman movies, we've got the original Batman movies. We get the Dark Knight movies. We get Man of Steel, obviously. Watchmen, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and Suicide Squad. Obviously, that's my Marvel and stuff like that, right? And for something that we're in living in this age where superhero movies is like, I know they recently, a couple of years ago, released the Batman TV series, and I'm surprised this hasn't been released not he here in the UK anyway. And that is Supergirl. For something that's actually got its own show. Um, I think it's on. It's going to be on its third series. It's the third season next year, I think. Or I think it's only had two seasons. Out. Supergirl. I mean, what's up with that? Why isn't that been released in the UK? Um, now again, this isn't Alice Connor by any means, but I have a, I enjoy it because I grew up with it. Um, I mean, of course, it doesn't live up to like Richard Donner Superman movies by any means. But it's it's not bad and it's not, I don't know, I guess it's one of the movies, again, that I would probably pick up if it got its release, just in the sheer fact that I loved it as a kid. And um, have I watched it recently? Well, I've not watched it for the last couple of years, but when it did get this release back in, like, I think it was like 2000, 2006, when it got this release, um, I watched it and I liked it again. So um, I haven't watched it probably for a few years, but... It's one on one of my uh, to watch list, so that's at uh, uh, number six. So number five is one that I think should be getting a release at some point soon. There's a lot of companies in now with Blu-rays and now there's um, obviously Arrow what I mentioned earlier. Um, there's the Criterion Collection. There's the Masters of Cinema. All these different companies that and some of them actually label have numbers on them and they'll label them and stuff like that. If you're collecting Blu-rays, you'll know what I'm talking about. But for those that don't, uh, just these other companies have took on certain Blu-rays. Most recently, HMV, surprisingly, have took on the Platinum Collection. I think it's about not a Premium Collection, sorry. They took up something called HMV Exclusive Premium Collection. And uh, for something, for example, uh, they just released... Last year, this is the first of their line, they brought out 10, um, 10 Blu-rays and, and to show you what the example it looks like was this, Gremlins 2 was one of them and that was uh, that was number 10, so that was the last one, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, the light. So that was at number 10 and uh, I've, I've not got them all but there was things like them and some things that had been released before in this. Um, and it's good you get me cards and stuff like that and some, some merchandise with it. Now, for something that I think should be 
on its release or on a release of one of these ones I've, I've just named. Masters of the Universe. Now, this isn't, this isn't exactly another one I'm talking about Oscar one as it isn't. Um, but I've got a soft spot for it and because uh, I grew up with it. And it is probably an 80s, 80s classic. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have fond memories of sitting with my pals, drinking and all that, and having a laugh and talking word for word about this movie. Um, it's just one of the movies that <laughs> it just stuck with you as a kid. And uh, you just you just grew up in, I guess. But, um, yeah... Masters Universe, where's that on Blu-ray? That's what I'm talking about, that should get a Blu-ray release sometime soon. What's wrong? Uh, another one following probably Masters Universe in the same, well in the same kind of vein. And uh, that's uh, The Krill at number four. Now if you haven't seen The Krill, it's a wee bit more, obviously different, but it's um, this uh, release, when it got, got released in the DVD, about... I don't know when it got released. It doesn't say. Sometimes they say. Um, oh no. Well it says the layout design 2001. I don't think it got released in 2001. I think it was 2005 maybe. Six possibly. Um, this Blu-ray. This DVD sorry got released. And it's got tons of special features on here. I had this in video. Um, this thing's got loads of special features. A lot of extras. Um, but it's a, it's a really good. Um, it's, I mean it is Excalibur meets Star Wars. It, it's just. It's totally out there, um, but it's a good film. Another one that's sort of sci-fi. Um, another superhero movie, um, but um, I'm surprised it hasn't released since it's in. We've seen it recently in things like the Guardians of the Galaxy and as a wee cameo. Uh, and that's uh, George Lucas's movie, Howard the Duck. And I think it is out in the States, but it just hasn't been released here in the UK. Um... <laughs> I mean, it's it's not a great movie. Um, I mean, I was hesitant about picking this movie for the collection, but I think because the same reason I picked uh, Supergirl was because we're living in the age of superhero movies, and you think this would be released just to get the people, you know, going for it. It's okay. Um, I enjoy parts of it and I don't enjoy some other parts and uh, I mean it's not the best superhero movie but you know would I buy it? All depends I would like probably wouldn't get it when it first got released but I'd probably get it at some point um, for sure but that's probably why I just fling it in here. At number two one that I know is in the US but it isn't here in the UK and I would love to see somebody take this on here in the UK and give us tons of special features and whatnot. And that is an R. Tom Hanks movie, The Bachelor, or Bachelor Party. I love this movie. A very underrated Tom Hanks movie. It's turn your brain off, silly kind of movie. And it really is. I mean, if you haven't seen Bachelor Party, take your time, try and get it on your Netflix. Wherever you watch movies, try and watch this film. Uh, really is, um, without a doubt. It's one of them, turn your brain off movies and just enjoy. And you'll get a good laugh out of it for the 90 minutes that you're watching this movie for. So Bachelor Party, where is that? That is definitely one I would buy when it got its release. This, uh, number one, I left this film to last because it's one of my favourite films. Now, I've spoke about this, this film on many other videos on hot, Oh, when I did uh, Movie Madness, when I did some other videos, I talked about this movie many a times, and it still hasn't had a release. I keep looking out for Blu-ray.com and nothing yet. And what's that? Well, it's the very first uh, John Belushi movie, the movie introduced me to John Belushi, uh, that I ever saw, and it's Neighbours, 1981, with Dan Aykroyd. Isn't a pure, isn't like the Blues Brothers, where Blues Brothers is a masterpiece, great, 80s classic, you revisit uh, Blues Brothers any time, but something about this movie, I don't know what it is, it's like a one hit wonder, like one kind of, like a cult kind of movie that just, 
I don't know, when I saw it, I can remember where I watched it, I can remember when I saw it, I can remember how that, like, I got that feeling that, like, certain movies you'll watch, another one that does it for me is Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver, like, I can never get that same repeat viewing, like, I can watch it so many times and I'll love it, but it's like when you watch it for the first time, I can never get that, it's like something, it does something to you and say that you really enjoy, like, watching it for the first time, and you remember where you were when you watch it, you remember, you know... It's like that first viewing. You can never get, you can never experience that first viewing again, isn't it? Man, I mean, you still enjoy the film. This is one of them, Neighbours. Now, if you haven't had a chance to check this movie out, go ahead and, however you watch movies, however you stream it, whatever, check this movie out. It's not a classic by any means. I mean, if you love Blues Brothers and Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi, this is John Belushi's last movie. And, uh... I all <laughs> It's... I've got the VHS. I still own the VHS believe it or not, to this, because it's it's something, like, I couldn't find the VHS when I was younger, I was like, oh, trying to hunt for the VHS, I had to get it ordered from HMV, eventually I got the VHS, and uh, I still own it to this day, I just kept it, um, obviously I don't watch it, I don't have a VHS player, but I just kept it as a keepsake, and uh, it is something, this is one film I will own, no matter how many times they release it, I don't know what it is about this movie, I mean, it isn't, it isn't like the best movie I've ever made. And it's not the best movie I've ever seen either. But it, I know word for word and I know, I don't know, it's just, I don't know what it is. Um, and the director recently passed away. Um, he's the guy that did Rocky, John G. Ander, is that that? Anvis? Anvison? Um, and he just recently passed away. So, um, you know, should get this released, UK. And uh, get people to check that out. Anyway, guys, that'll do it because that's the end of this video. I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown. Of, I think this video went on long enough. A quick run rundown of uh, the 10 uh, DVDs that I own that haven't been released here in, in the UK on DVD. So, um, yeah, guys, that's it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, share the video to anybody. You know, subscribe to my channel for more. And let me know in the comments below what. Uh, is there certain movies you own that you haven't seen released here in the UK um, that you would like to see, um, just like I spoke about? I mean, we're in 2017, and that's, a, that's 11 years on since the first Blu-ray got released, and that's a big list. I still have hundreds more behind the camera, um, a rack um, of certain ones that I still have to see it here in the UK on, on, on Blu-ray, so uh, please let us know, guys. Um, Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Until next time guys, take care and keep collecting.